Find you, we welcome you all to Redeeming Lives International. We thank God for you all, and we're in a special time of jubilee, yes. a special time of blessing, yes. where God is just synchronizing everything. Everything is just coming together. God is proving Himself. He's showing us that He's with us. He's showing us that, that He's orchestrating our life and leading us step by step. Testimonies are coming forward just to bring you one or two that these are testimonies where people have partnered with the ministry um, out of state. There was one guy, um, he, he, I, I can give his name, his name is AJ, and he went to his supervisor and he knew that he deserved a promotion and he asked for the promotion, but they, they rejected him. They turned him down, and, 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 but he knew that he was gifted to do what he was doing and he knew that all gifts come from God and all promotion come from God. So he kept, continued to work his, his gift and could commit himself to the work of the Lord and before we knew it he the man came back to him offering him the promotion I, 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 I'm saying great and mighty things are happening and, 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 and God told me before the year of 2021 that I'm going to do signs, wonders and miracles but I need for you to come up I, I, I need for you to give me more I need for your faith to rise and, 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 and then he also told me that Pastor, that's just the, the beginning of it. But but God gave me some keys. He, he gave me a new home. He gave me some keys. And he said, Pastor, he didn't stop with the keys. He gave me some more keys. A new car. Those that are partnering with this ministry, you're giving us and miracles. And I, um, this here is in another state as well, and her name was Stephanie, and she 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 moved to a whole nother state and, and left a job and just left everything she was familiar with, and and you know when you do that, you go through a process, and and, and, and I'm just wasn't easy but she partnered with this ministry and we continue to believe God that signs wonders and miracles is following this ministry and, and before I knew it that the company that she left a fortune 500 company began to follow her now, now, now let me say it again now I'm saying that company may just exist because you there. Yeah. Yeah. It might be favor on that company just because you're there. Yeah. And, and then, then I said, God, you, you, you're doing so many things. We send people healed and yeah. people are being delivered and, and, and say, God, I, 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 a lot of things are happening afar and other states in, in California. Uh, uh, I had a friend that called me said that I, I, I need for you to help me out because I'm thinking about moving back home and, 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 and I got some more keys, God said. I'm looking for a home. I, I, I mean, signs, wonders, and miracles. What we learned last week the word God is faithful to do the word. Yeah. But you just got to speak the word by faith. Do it. Yes, and, 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 and I said, God, these all these stakes over here and stakes over here, but you have redeeming lives here in the core, the Orlando area, the Central Florida area. And, 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 and God, God said, well, I'm faithful no matter where they are. Come on, brother. Amen. I, 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 I'm 
faithful. I, I'm just requiring a little more. Amen. And if people in this central area would give me a little bit more and they'll start saying yes in their heart and yes in their soul, I'll do the same thing that I'm doing afar. Come on. Amen. Everybody having connected to the word. Right. Some people just hear the word. Everyone having to open up their hearts and their mind to obey the word. And then I, 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 I heard another testimony, local testimony, and, and, and it was some more keys. Some more keys. God said, son, if you speak signs, wonders, and miracles that they were helping before 2021, he said, I'll do it if you speak it. But what about the pandemic? What about people losing? Homes and what about people losing their cars and what about people getting divorced and what about all that going on in the earth he said but I'm still God this is really the year of jubilee and on the other side of problems it's on the other side of the years out I need someone to speak it before the year is out. And, 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 and last week we talked about the selfie. We talked about how God look at us. But at some point the translation has to take and see how we look at ourselves. It's one thing for God to believe in you. It's one thing for God to trust you. But when are you going to believe in yourself? And when are you going to trust yourself? That's it. So today we are talking about God's selfie, mm -hmm. but we're also talking about a crushing. Okay, now. God's selfie and a crushing. God taking a, a picture of who we are, but we're going through high water and, 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 and hell, they say. Wow. We're going through ups and we're going through downs. This has been a, 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 a year of turmoil, and a year of feeling overwhelmed, and a year of feeling disappointed, and a year of feeling embarrassment, and, 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 and it's been a year of question. So how do I define when God says to me that I'm the head, and not the tail, but I feel like I'm about to lose it all. What do I say to myself when God said, I gave you a promotion, but it seems like I'm about to lose my mind? What, 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 what do I say to myself when God speaking to my life, but it looked like the opposite? When God take a selfie, slash, crush, Feeling overwhelmed, going through ups and downs, going through disappointment, going through embarrassment. How do I define myself in the midst of all? Psalms 52 8 says, Amen. and Jalen read this, so the Spirit of the Lord is a flowing God. Amen. You have to learn how to get into a flow. In everything, behind every physical thing, there's a spiritual thing. Whether it's of the enemy or whether it's of God. And what you have to do is get in the flow. So when I go to church, I listen to the music and see what, what God is saying in the music. I listen to the prayer and see what God is saying in the prayer. I, 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 I listen to uh, uh, um, the flow of what's going on in the service. And as Jalen read the word, I was listening to the word and she read Psalm 52. Hey, I always keep myself open to God. Amen. I never really come with just a pre a uh, ordained sermon, but I always come with, with, with my heart open and say, Lord, you speak. I'll say what you say. And when she read Psalms 58 too, it said, but I am light, a green olive tree in the house of the Lord. A green olive tree in the house of the Lord. A green olive tree in the house of the Lord. 
And then in, in the house of God, it said, I trust in his mercy. I trust in the mercy of God forever mm -hmm. and ever. Amen. So what we'll break it down that scripture, Pastor. Talk to me about that scripture, about being a green olive tree in the house of God. And you trusting in God's mercy forever and ever. Well, I'm gonna give you an example first that would describe what he's saying. And we're talking about the olive tree, which we know represent the oil, the anointing. Of God. Mm -hmm. It represents the presence of God. It represents the protection of God. It represents the power of God. It represents the ability of God. It represents the assignment on your life that comes from God. The, the, the anointing, the, the anointing, talking about the, the oil, the olive oil, talking about the anointing. And when you think about the anointing, you have to think about the olive and, and, and the olive being crushed. And our day, our, our message is God selfie slash you being crushed. And how do you see yourself in the midst of being crushed? Is, is the picture of yourself different because You've been through things and the odds was all against you and and, 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 and and you're going through difficult time and it looked like you're not going to make it. How, how, how do you see yourself? That's the first question we're going to answer today. How do I see myself? And then the second question is going, how do others see me? And then the third one is, how would I like to be seen? In the midst of a pandemic, in the midst of losing everything, how do you see yourself? How do others see you in the body of Christ? When they, you know, something you go through, and you go through it in public, everybody see you. Everybody see that you're about to lose it. Everybody see that you don't have it together. Everybody know that. Broken and, and how do you see yourself in the midst of being crushed? How, how do others see you and, 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 and how would you like to be seen? Be, because this is so important that you, 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 you know, when you think about an olive tree and, 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 and olive oil is used for so many healthy things. Most people put it on all their food because all of uh, um, the oil is it, it, it's, it's so beneficial to the body. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and people in Italy and Greece and, 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 and Spain, they, they're known to have olive, uh, olive oil in their food daily because of the benefits. But one thing that people discovered over there in those countries there because the, 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 the environment is so comfortable. It, it, it is so uh, um, fruitful. But they know that the olive tree over there in that environment was missing something. And, 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 and it is called um, 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 polyphenol oil. Polyphenol. Polyphenol oil. That's, it, 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 it is known to be a, a very important in the oil. But they found out that it was very little of that in the olive oil because of the environment. Bring it on down, Pastor. When they went to a country that they knew that really couldn't produce anything because the country, a large part of it was desert. A large part of it was soil that had no nutrients. A large part of it was just dry and, 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 and dried up soil that really had no They went over there anyhow. And they found in the olive tree that somehow the olive tree, because it did not look out 
the outside of people couldn't survive a begin to flourish and begin to thrive and begin to produce almost 30 times the trees that was in a comfortable place, that was in a, a nice, cool environment, the trees that 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 that, that, that was in flush and, 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 and luscious environment, they found out it within the tree start looking in, in the tree and I can imagine it probably says something like this greater 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 is he When you've been crushed uh -huh. by all the external things uh -huh. that everything the devil is showing you, uh -huh. there is an everlasting supply. Wow. There is wow. a wow. presence of an anointing and a power. Yeah. There is a force with you. There is a... A green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God forever that you're a green olive tree. I, 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 um, see, the olive tree was able to grow because it looked within. There was no pride. There was no flesh. It started living from what was inside of him of her, uh, 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 not from what what was going on outside. It didn't matter about the pandemic. There was a group of believers down here in Central Florida. Uh -huh. And they start prospering. Yes, yes. They start going forth in the midst of the pain, yes. in the midst of the discomfort. They start growing in distressed conditions. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. In distressed condition, yes. the olive tree mm. start producing more polyphily, which is known to be very rare in the olive, but it makes the olive what it is. It begins to turn within. But Pastor, that, that, how does that look? All right, let me break it down to you. you your blessings sometimes look like it's in this disguise that it looks like you ain't going to make it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It looks like you, 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 you're about to die. Yes. But you're not going to die. You just like everything is going to end. It looks like it, nothing is worth living for. It looks like there's no problem. That's your blessing in disguise. God. Pastor, break it down to me. You, so, so I want to make sure I'm understanding what you say. Our self-image is a major ingredient to possessing and being what God called us to be. Mm -hmm. Our self-image. I, I, I say our self-image. And, 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 and don't get upset how people treat you. Because some people may not know. Yes. See, you can't try to control other people. How to respect. Take yourself and that you know who you are. You'll be able to walk in favor. You'll be able to walk in blessing. Yeah. You'll be able to possess 
the land of milk and honey. Come on now. But I am like a green olive tree in the midst of a desert, a dry place. But I still flourish even though I'm being crushed. Well, 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 Pastor, how do you 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 do that? And 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 and, and, and well, it, it, it's really like this. You have to begin to talk to yourself and, and say what God say about you. Yeah. You can't let isolated situation become your whole life. Mm -hmm. oh. what, what, what are you saying? I'm saying to you that oh. when things happen that it seems like it's not for your good. Just remember that that, that little thing don't make it a mountain. Uh -huh. Because if you make it a mountain, it becomes not only a chapter, but it becomes a book in your life. Wow. It, it, so, so what if you're painting and you make the wrong stroke? It, the, it, it, the painting is not destroyed. It was just a, a bad stroke. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a whole painting. See, when certain things happen in your life, you got to realize that it, it, it was just a scene in your life. It, it was just a, a, an act in your life. But it wasn't a whole movie. That's right. Come on now. See, you can't let one or two incident dictate your whole life. Right. See, the enemy, he has a way of saying words to you that goes undetected. Mm -hmm. You don't even realize that out of that one bad thing that he said that happened in your life that it has slipped into your mind. Wow. That one bad thing. Then he'll slip another bad thing in there. In there. And while you're in pain, he'll start saying, well, you, 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 you know you're not going to be healed. And you know the pain that you're feeling is it, it, leading you to death. And you know there's no cure for it. And he starts telling you, you know nobody really like you. And, 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 and you, 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 you know this sickness, uh, um, what the Bible says, not unto death. I believe it is for death for you. He, he starts slipping these little things in. These little words. And then before you know it, that these words become not just one bad picture when you take a selfie, but it stopped being another picture and another picture, and it stopped being a collage. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And you start letting one bad thing or two bad things dictate your entire life. It was just one bad picture. Take another picture. If you take a bad picture, then get in the mirror, go in the bathroom, and take another selfie. Until <laughs> it turns out that you yourself. But don't let one bad picture stop you from taking the selfie that God said about you. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. And when you find the right picture, keep taking them. Take another selfie. Take another selfie. Just keep bombarding your mind with how God said you look. Yeah. Who God said you are. See, you have to speak the word. And then you have to submit to the word. See, w w when you speak the word, you have to submit to the word. And what it does, it creates faith. You speak in the word. And you yeah. submit to the word that you speak, it creates faith. And Hebrews 11 says, 11, 6 said, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. Amen. For he that cometh to God, you're pursuing God, you're coming to God. How do you come to God? Well, every day I got a assigned place where I go. I got a assigned time where I go. Pastor, you say a place? Yeah, I got a certain place I go every day. I got a certain time I go every day. And then I read the word every day. Then I pray every day. And then I allow God to talk to me while I'm praying. And then I open my heart up to it. Well, Pastor, I've been doing all of this. You have to open up your heart to obey everything you hear from God. Now, how do I come to God? I come to God by having a place to go every day, a time, which is a schedule, every day. I come, I read the word every day. 
I pray every day, but when I pray, I also wait to hear what God is saying. Then I open up my heart to obey what God is saying. How do I come to God? Because, see, I come to church, but, but sometimes I don't have any faith. And, 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 and I hear the word, but sometimes the right man is saying I'm still going through the same thing. You're not coming to God correctly. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is who he say he is. And that he is the rewarder. Not your job, not man. He used people, he used your job, but he is the one that's orchestrating your blessing and your reward. He's the one that's moving you from one place in life to another place. He's the one that keeps elevating you. He is the rewarder. Of them that diligently seek him. Yes. Well, Pastor, I've been praying for a husband, but 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 don't seek no husband. You got to seek God. Amen. I've been praying for a wife. Don't seek the wife. I've been praying for you. Don't seek them. You seek God. God. Amen. See, when you seek God, what happens? The manifestation of what's inside of you begin to flush itself outwardly. See, what happens is that you have an internal revelation of who God is when you spend time with him. What you say that again, Pastor? Right. You begin to have an internal revelation of who you are and whose you are. Yes. When you spend time with him, he begins to show you that I'm an olive tree green olive tree even in the desert. When you look within and spend time with him, he gives you an internal revelation. He begins to tell you that you It manifests itself to an external confirmation of what God said internally yes. to you. Because you stood on the word. Amen. You kept trusting God. You kept believing God. Even in the dry places. Even in the desert. You, you, you kept trusting God. You never, you never shifted. Who God said you are. Right. You kept looking at the word of God. And you kept believing the word of God. You kept standing on the promise of God. Even in the midst of you crying. Even in the midst of it seeming like you're about to lose it all. Even in the midst of it seeming like a nervous breakdown. Even in the midst of it seeming like anxiety. Even in the midst of it seeming like an attack against you. You didn't change your image of who God. Amen, amen, amen. 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 While I'm being crushed. How do I see myself in the midst of, of being in the wilderness and, and, and going through? How do I see myself? Do I stay consistent with God? Do I continue to give my life over to God. And, and, and do I make a decree that for God I live all my days. And, but even when I'm dying, for God that I I'll die into his presence. I'll die and be with him forevermore. His mercy endure forever. I for God. Your, your self-image. It has a lot to do with how much you'll put up from a person. How bad you'll let somebody treat you. How bad you'll let somebody abuse you. Your self-image let people know what mess you You are reflecting on God and you should be able to want the best and, and you deserve the best and you should command the blessings of God. You should command to be debt free. You should command to
can be against us. How, how, how I see myself and, 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 and how others see me and how I would like to be seen has a lot to do with what you're able to possess. See, God has already said, touch not my anointing. Uh -huh. Matter of fact, in 1 Chronicles 16, 21, and, 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 and if you read it before then, it, 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 it's the promise and it's the covenant that he made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And he, he was talking about how he's going to bless his generation. And, and if you would know that you are chosen, and if you would know that God is willing, know that you have a if you begin to stand your whole family if you begin to stand your generation if you begin to declare that God has I'm going to create an olive tree in the house of God I'm going to create an olive tree and his mercy Endure forever and ever. The favor of the Lord is upon you. You just can't let what you've been through, okay, now. what you've gone through, uh -huh. change the image of God Amen, that's on your life. He began to say, suffer no man to do them wrong. He's talking about me, and he's talking about you, and he's talking about his generation. He said, yea, he have reproved kings for their sakes. In other words, no matter how much money they got, how much power they got, because God is with them, he have everyone else. You have to realize that God won't allow Jesus. certain things to happen to you just because you're anointed. Amen. And he said, touch not my anointed. Uh -huh. Those that I have chosen to do great and mighty exploits in the earth. Those that I have given an assignment. Those. He, he, he said, everybody is chosen. Everybody God is using for something. Uh -huh. You must know you are chosen. And he's telling he letting kings know. He letting peasants know. He letting the wealth and, and, and the famous know that this is my child. Right. These are my anointed one. And he said, don't touch them. All right. All right. I chose them. Yeah. And he said, don't even think about touching my prophet. Yeah. Shut up, don't do him no harm right, or her no harm. This is how God feel about you. In your generation. And God began to say that. He talks about. This green olive tree. In Psalms 23 5. He said. Thou prepares a table. Before me. In the presence of, of all my friends. When everything. When everybody like me. When nobody is against me. When it, no. That can't stand you. Don't wish that you would fail. And those are jealous of you. And those that don't like you. He said, I'll prepare. Can't nobody take it away. I'm open a door that can't nobody close. I'm making a way out of nowhere. I'm making a place. I'm doing something. Yeah. 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 Just for you. And I'm so bad. I'm going to do it in the presence of those enemies. So don't you get caught up with this. The battle is not yours. You don't even have to fight them. Only you got to do is keep taking that selfie. Well, this is who God say I am. Well, you may not think I'm all that in a bag of chips, but God said I am. God said I am. You don't have to fight with flesh. You just stand on the word of God. He said, thou anointest thy head with oil. Mm -hmm. And he said that the cup runneth over. Uh -huh. Abundance is in your life. Yes. You should be prospering. 
You should be commanded or blessed. You should be living in the overflow. You are in the year of Jubilee where everything is being redeemed. Everything is being restored. You are in that place. The anointing, the anointing. He said, he'll anoint thy head and our cup runneth over. And then he said, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days. Oh, Not someday, oh, but all the days. Amen. Not on Monday and Sunday, but all the days. All, the days. all week long, all month long. And in the blessings of the Lord that make him rich and add no sorrow will overtake you before the year of 2021 in the name of Jesus. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow those all the days of their life and I will dwell in the house on earth or the house of the Lord. God. In the house of the Lord. The oil. Yes. See, the oil has so much power in it. It has so much power in it. They put it on sheets to keep the bug off. Mm. They, they, you, we know they are not kings because it represents God's presence, God's power, and God's assignment. But you are anointed, though. Yes. Amen. Even when uh, mosquitoes in Florida, and you have to spray them, and, 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 and it, it, it's like an oil base that keeps the mosquitoes off of you. What are you saying? It, 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 I'm saying that there are certain things cannot hold on to you. Hell, from who you are and who God is, only if you know. Right. Only if you have the image of God. Yeah. Only if you know God is with you. With you because of the anointing of God upon your life. In the house of God. I am a green olive tree. I have been anointed by God to do great and, great and mighty things. See, they rub the oil on you to just kind of show that God is with you. It kind of it's an outward appearance. It's not the oil, but it's what the oil represents. It, it, it's supposed to speak to you and open you up to what God has called you to do. I remember being a boy, a, a young boy, and, and, and when, when you kind of feel a little congestion in your heart, they used to get that big sand. And they rub on your chest and it opens up everything. Every tube, every nostril, everything. everything. The Lord of God, when they rub it on you, you're supposed to open up. Everything. Everything. Just like the Vicks rub, it opens you up. It allows you to flow. Yes. It allows you to breathe. Mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost, the anointing all. It represents God's presence in you. That you are anointed. It opens you up to the will of God concerning who God is in your life. And you're supposed to never let go of who God said he is in your life. In my closing, Numbers 13, 27. Numbers 13, 27. And I believe this in the Living Bible. It said, this was the, and these was the children of Israel that God made a promise to them. And they began to go out and spy the land. It was 12 of them. And God was talking to them about a land of milk and honey, Canaan, the promised land. God is talking to us about the same thing now. The land of milk and honey, the promised land. But because that there are giants, we came back up. Because there's turmoil, we came back up. Because there's trouble, we came back up. Because there's haters, we came back up. But we must possess who God said we are and what God said that we can have. Yes, yes. amen. And, they, and, and, and this was their report in the Living Bible. And, 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 and they had evidence. Good land. 
They said the fruit, they, they had a rod. They had to put a man in front and back to carry the, 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 the cluster of gates of grace because uh, 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 they were so you know, enormous. And they saw it. You know how sometimes you can see what God has for you, but you don't focus on God, but you focus on the trouble, you focus on the giant. And, 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 and here it begins to say, and there was a report. We arrived in the land, land ye sent us to see. And it is indeed a magnificent country, a land flowing with milk and honey. And there are some few we have brought as proof. But the people, whoa, 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 whoa. but the people, what the people are saying, you focusing on the people, how the people see you, how do you see yourself, and how do you want to be seen, but the people living there is powerful, talking about their enemy, their city are fortified with very large and and, and, and what's more was uh, uh, Amicans, giants there. Uh, uh, Amalekites yeah. living in the south, yeah. which is in the hilly country there. And, and, the, and also the Hittites and the Jebusites and the Amorites yeah. and down along the coast of the Mediterranean Sea in, and in the Jordan River. In, in the valley of the Canaanites. Oh, yeah. But J Caleb, but Caleb, Hallelujah. assured the people and stood, and, and they stood before Moses. Mm -hmm. Let us go. Mm -hmm. Let us go up. Let us possess it. Let us go up. Let us possess it. What are you saying? In the midst of all this, what are you saying? If God be for me, against me, what are you saying? I'm saying, let us go up. In the land of milk and honey, in the land of Canaan, this is our time. This is a prosperous time. In the midst of the enemy. And he, 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 he said, we, for we are well able, yeah. well, able yeah, well able to conquer. Not just barely win. Not just win by a small margin. But to dominate, to possess it, to take over, to conquer it. To have dominion, to rule it, to reign, that we're well able. How this man of God standing on the selfie. Can you imagine in the midst of all the trouble and all of the enemies, how this man of God said, let us go up and possess it. And he said, we are well able. Sometimes people don't have what God has for them, not because he changed his promises, but because how they see themselves in the midst of being crushed. Amen. Verse 31, not against the people. It said, not against the people as strong as they are. That's what the other one was saying. The other spy said, they would crush us. There's too much anointing in you to be crushed. Hallelujah. There's too much anointing on you to be crushed. Amen. Too much anointing on you to be crushed. Amen. You are a green olive tree uh -huh. in the house of God. Amen. Even in a desert, you still flourish. Amen. God has promised you the land of milk and honey. And just because they're a giant, you shouldn't bow down Amen. and say they're going to crush us. Amen. If God said you can have it, you can have it. Amen. If God said our house is yours, you got a house is yours. Yes. 
You shouldn't start letting words from the enemy seek in. You start speaking, and then it stop you from Amen. possessing and being who God called you to be. Amen. And then they will crush us. That's what they said, the spies. Ten of them. So the majority report of the spies was negative. And the land is full of warriors. The people are powerfully built. And we, and we saw some of the Amicants there, descendants of the ancient race of giants. We felt like grasshoppers before them. Don't let people dictate who you are. Don't let people look at you and tell you you're not who God said you are. Amen. Don't let people in situations tell you you can't have what God promised you can have. Amen. Don't you take their testimony and speak it. You take God's testimony uh -huh. and speak it. You take God's word. You don't take your situation. You don't take the circumstances. You don't even look around the desert and see no rain and no nourishment. Want to die? You look within and say, "I am." Amen. Amen. In the house of God. Amen. Amen. You shall flourish. Amen. And we felt. You felt. Felt what? Like grasshopper, you felt overwhelmed. You you felt trouble in, in your spirit. You felt trouble in your soul. And God trying to elevate you to another level. And my soul must say yes. My heart must say yes. and being. He's trying to improve your image of yourself that you may see his self in you. That he give you an internal revelation that will bring about external confirmation. And they begin to describe the enemy. They were so tall. Don't spend all your time on that enemy. Spend all your time on who God said you are. That's right. Spend the time of God. Allow God to move in your life like never before. In my closing, James 4, 7 says, submit yourself unto God. Yes. Give your whole self to God. Get in a place where you just surrender all. Yo, Pastor, I, 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 I submitted 99.9. .9. No, go ahead and get rid of that, 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 that 1%. Amen. Go ahead and do 100%. Submit yourself, therefore, unto God. Resist, stand firm against the enemy, yes. against the devil, and he will flee from you. Say, Pastor, my intentions are well. I play on the basketball team, and, 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 and I know my gift, and I score a lot of points, and, 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 but that's only one part of it. You submit it to God, but you haven't resisted the enemy. There's someone out there trying to stop you. There's a defense. You got to learn how to score, but also play defense. Uh -huh. You got to learn how to stop the enemy. You know how some people score a, a whole lot of points and it, it'd be a high scoring game and they still lose? That's what you call they submitted to God, but they couldn't resist the enemy. Wow. You got to be able to do both. That they play offense, do well, do what God called you to do, use your gift and your talent, but you got to resist that enemy that's coming against you. That's right. If you want to win in life, and I'm just breaking it down to the natural, you got to be able to do both. You got to have an offense and a defense. Yes. You got to be able to submit to God, but also resist the enemy. He shall flee from you. Looking forward to you all. Have a blessed day. God bless you. Looking forward to hearing the reports of the Lord. That the miracle signs and wonders that are happening in your life. In Jesus name. Amen.